today, people across the country and here in Texas had their eyes on the skies. In the path of totality, look at this. It turned from day to night in a matter of minutes. Good evening, Southeast Texas. I'm Jordan Williams. Brenda has this Monday off. You know, here at home, we had a lot of clouds, but luckily the sun peeked through, giving us glimpses of the eclipse. We asked you to share some of your photos. These are a couple. Uh, this image taken by Russell Hopkins in Sulphur Springs. Look at this. this is what it looked like northeast of Dallas. Here's a photo from Tanya Dallison in Beaumont. Of course, we did not reach totality here, but more of a crescent uh, that was visible here. And here's a look at Sophia inside the Beaumont Event Center, trying her hand in front of our green screen. Listen to the excitement. Kids cheered as the sun peeked through. With glasses in hand, these third graders from Silsby Elementary stopped by the viewing party in downtown Beaumont. They paused their field trip for this, and it was worth it. 12 News was there broadcasting live this afternoon at the event put together by the Beaumont Library System. Beverly Jackson got emotional while watching the solar event. It was just beautiful, you know, something exciting to see, you know. I thought about the Lord. <laughs> I could see his glory up there. Meteorologist Jeff Gerber had the chance to talk to some of the kiddos who were quite impressed with the big event. What'd you think? I thought it looked a lot like a smile and it just looked really pretty. It did look pretty, didn't it? Yeah, at least we got to see some of it. You guys were excited? Yeah. Yeah. All right, what'd you think of it? I thought since this is a once in a lifetime event, it was so cool and I cannot wait for the next one. Well, we're going to wait just a little while, about 21 years or so. In 2045, a total solar eclipse will move across the central and southern United States.